Hello everyone. So Google just launched file search tool. So if you're wondering what file search tool is, if you've ever used Gemini before and you wanted to ground your Gemini API responses to your data, and you don't want to go through the entire process of having to create embeddings for those data and then create maybe data connectors on GCP that is in Vertex AI and then storing those in an embeddings database, and then grounding your Gemini API calls to use those data sources that you've created. Today might be your lucky day because today Google just launched file search tool. And this video, we're going to be taking a look at how that works. So let's get into it. So this is a launch announcement from Google about introducing the file search tool in the Gemini API. So now you can do RAG directly within your Gemini API calls. You don't have to create complex data sources in Vertex AI and then ground your Gemini responses based on that data source. And you can actually just use the file search tool like any other tool within your Gemini API responses. So we can see how to do that right here. So let's take a deep dive into how this works. The first thing you need to do is to go to Google AI Studio. So if you have Google AI Studio, or just go to aistudio.google.com. Almost everyone has access to that. If you have a Google account, go to aistudio.google.com. Now within the Gemini apps that we have here within the gallery, under the all apps section, it's actually the first app you have here, which is the Axe the Manual. This is the demo of how we can do something like this directly within AI Studio. So just as a test. So I decided to take this for a spin. And what I did was to just give it a test data set, a PDF file that I've downloaded and then ask it some questions and see how it works. But let's see. So the first thing I did was to just provide it my PDF file. Now in this case, I'm using the PDF file that I downloaded from Kaggle. And this is a data set of Amazon Echo.reviews. So I downloaded that into a CSV and then made a PDF out of it because unfortunately right now, uh, the fast search store tool doesn't support or the interface here doesn't support providing a CSV file. So you have provided a PDF file, TXT or MD file. So I created a PDF out of that, upload and chat, so that's the next step. So right now what's happening is it is chunking that data set and out of that chunks, it's creating embeddings. And these embeddings are what's going to be used for your semantic search when you query against that grounding data. Okay, that's a lot. But if you understand how RAG works, that's exactly what's going on here right now. So it's trying to create a way for us to be able to query those embeddings when we make queries or typing prompts from our chatbot. Okay, so this kind of takes a while I notice. It takes a couple of minutes for the whole embeddings to be generated, the file stores to be generated, so it stores that as well. Well, we're just going to wait here for a few more minutes. Let's see how long this takes. All right, so our embeddings are still being generated. Kind of taking longer than I expected for a simple 7 megabyte CSV. But I guess all we got to do is wait. And I feel like when I did this via the Google Vertex AI data store, it was actually much faster. So while our embeddings are still getting generated, one thing to keep in mind is that all of this process is happening using our API key from Google AI Studio. So if you do not have an API key already generated, it's going to ask you to create an API key. And then you select that API key before you're able to use this application. So I just selected one of my existing API keys on AI Studio and then kicked up the process. So this is taking longer than I expected, even longer than it did the first time I tried it. So I think I'm going to refresh this page right now and probably try it again. So let's do that. So I'm just going to refresh. We're going to select our data set again. Upload and chat. So I feel like that got stuck for some reason because it shouldn't take that long. Especially if you're doing this via API, you, you kind of want to get much faster responses. But then again, it has to embed your data, which might take a while. I get that. Looks like we're making progress now. So we have two of three in a couple of seconds and three of three. So Looks like our data set is ready now and connected to our Gemini API for grounding reasons. So now we should be able to query our Gemini API 
directly and have it grounded on our data set. So let's try it out. What are the most popular reviews for the black echo dots? So what's happening is now is going to first of all embed our prompt and then do a semantic search based off of the embeddings from our prompt in our data sets embeddings database. And then from there, it's going to attach contextual information from the data set and then pass that on to Gemini. So that Gemini uses that as context to answer the question. So let's see what it gives us here. The black echo dot has received numerous reviews with many users expressing high satisfaction. The most popular reviews frequently highlights the device's overall appeal and utility. So we can see it's giving us answers here from our data set. And what's nice, I like, or something I like about the API is it kind of gives you the source here as well. So you can actually take a look at which context it is getting its answer from. So that way you can tell if it's either using the wrong context or as the case may be. So this is pretty nice. And even the API calls, you get this in the grounding data API response. So that's nice. Okay, so that's how you use this demo from the ISO. So I decided to take this demo a step further by actually writing some Python code to test how it works using the SDK because most developers are going to be using this via the SDK. The entire point of this is that you should be able to ground your Gemini API calls via API using the file search tool. So let's take it for a spin. So here in my Google Cloud Shell environment, I've created a demo.py file. So this is just using the Google Gen AI SDK. So here I'm setting my Gemini API key in the Gemini AI client and then calling the file search source tool. So you can see here, first thing I'm doing is I'm setting a display name for the file search store. This is where my embeddings are going to be stored. Okay, and then here listing it and then here I'm saying for each file stores and the file search stores, if there's any file search store that has a display name here, that means my file search store already exists. If it doesn't, then I'm creating that file search store from scratch. Okay, and then uploading my files. So here I have the Amazon Echo Dot Reviews PDF file that I talked about downloaded here. And then I'm passing that in here within my code to the file search store. So here I'm uploading that file to the file search store. And then after uploading it, I wait for a couple of seconds, you know, checking intermittently. Once the file is fully uploaded to the file search store, it's ready. Immediately I can start querying it. And that's what's awesome about all of this. Immediately I can start querying it. So once that's uploaded, I can start asking questions directly. Same using the Gemini AI client and just call models to generate content and then pass in my model, pass in the question that I want. And then this is the most important part. I'm grounding it to the file search tool and passing the name of my file search store. Okay. So let's take that for a spin and see how that works. I'm just going to run it here. Python 3 demo.py. So what's going to happen here is going to take my query, embed my query, do a semantic search for my file search store, attach that context to Gemini context window, and then makes an API call to Gemini. And then Gemini should be able to give me my response based off of the context from my data. And so we have our response. So as you can see, it says based on the Amazon Echo Dot reviews, here are some common positive and negative feedback points. So it is grounded on my PDF file that I just uploaded. Nice and clean. Okay. So this is nice. Now I see a couple of benefits to this approach, right? And the most obvious one is you have a much more integrated developer workflow, right? A developer building applications using the Gemini SDK no longer have to think about going to applications on maybe the console on JCP, creating a data store or a data connector and plugging it into their data set and then grounding their Gemini API responses to that data store. Now you can achieve all of that within the same block of code or within the same file, basically, as we've shown here. So that is awesome. That's a nice integrated workflow for developers. And the other thing I noticed is while you can do this with files right now, when I looked at the file search store API, it doesn't seem like you can plug in things, websites and all the other data store connectors that you can do natively from the Google console, right? I understand this is a new product. They just launched it. 
but it will be nice to have all of those functionality that you have within data stock creation on the Google console available here as well. So you can just plug that in via API. That'll be neat. So what I'm talking about is if you go to the Google console and you go to AI applications where you're able to create. So I'm just going to go to AI applications here. And we go to AI applications. For some reason, the console is slowing down on me. Okay, so AI applications, data stores. Normally, when you try to create a data store, you have all of this sources, right? All of these connectors that you can plug in to create your data store. And one really nifty or nice one, I'll say, is the ability to just plug in a website, right? A website URL as your source. Now that'll be awesome because you can easily just build chatbots right directly within your API and plug it to the content of your website. So think about an FAQ on your website, plug it to your website as a source and someone can just query and ask questions about your website. That'd be awesome. Like plug it to your knowledge base or whatever it is. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Just wanted to play with the new fast search tool and see how it works. I hope this has been useful to you and helpful. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, please do so so you're notified whenever I drop a new video. As this is going to be weekly going forward. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.